Meanwhile, good news for motorists as petrol prices are set to decrease by over one rand per litre for the second month in a row. The Department of Mineral Resources and Energy has announced the latest fuel price adjustments effective from midnight on Wednesday. Inland unleaded petrol 93 will be priced at 22 rand and 86 cents, while ULP 95 will cost 23 rand and 36 cents. Diesel prices will also see a decrease with 50 ppm diesel at 20 rand and 91 cents and 500 ppm diesel at 20 rand and 66 cents, along with illuminating paraffin at 15 rand and 2 cents. FNB senior economist Kogetsu Manu unpacks the Central Energy Fund data and other factors in influencing the fuel price drop for July 2024. Fuel prices have been cut for the second consecutive month, and this is for the month of July. Um, the changes that were announced by the Department of Mineral Resources and Energy uh, will be effective on the 4th of July, uh, where we will see that petrol prices will drop by uh, one rand, uh, around one rand per litre, and diesel prices by around uh, 30 cents per litre. So this will bring your inland 95 unleaded petrol price to 23 rand, 26 cents. Um, and wholesale diesel prices um, will be around 20 rand per litre. So a combination of lower oil prices, lower refinery margins, as well as a less depreciated rand um, has supported uh, these cuts that we are now seeing. Um, when we think about the oil market, um, you know, the fact that the market is finely balanced means that prices will be sensitive to sentiment and economic data. So um, despite some interest rate cuts that we have seen being delivered by several central banks around the world, monetary policy is expected to remain um, largely restrictive, at least until inflation falls convincing, convincingly towards targets. Um, so this should contain demand weighing on oil prices. Um, but that said, I mean, higher demand in the northern hemisphere over the summer uh, should temporarily support prices. Um, in addition to that, continued geopolitical tensions as well as climate risks um, should uphold some risk premium on commodity prices.